Hello friends, how are you guys? It is November 1st, so crazy. Okay. Yeah it is, it's Wednesday, November 1st. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I got a text message that my nephew drove all this, all the way here. Did you know about this? Yeah. Wow. Where is he? Is he here? He said he's five minutes away. He told me not to leave the house. I was about to leave the house. Oh yeah, well I didn't know you were gonna go anywhere. Where were you gonna go? Yeah, I always end up going to Target. My nephew is five minutes away. I yeah. have no idea why they're coming. That's why he called me yesterday. Oh. He wanted to know if we were going to be home. Why is he driving all this way? So my nephew and his boyfriend are on their way. I don't know if they're nearby. I was sitting here. Well, you said five minutes, so they Yeah, he said five ready. minutes. So I'm assuming he's off the freeway already. Okay, he'll be here soon. He's going to try on the shoes. I love these. They're so cute. What are you guys going <laughs> to eat for dinner? No, I have to work, Mom. I have to work, man. Do you have any because uh, back here, around here? Ryan, like no. I said, man, you're really making me sad. <laughs> if you guys want that, then you guys want to go back to OC. Yeah, I don't want to drive far. Yeah, but yeah, honestly, around here, like Asian uh, restaurants, there's no, not, not at all. There isn't. There aren't too many choices. At least that we. Found. Not too tight, Bubba. How is it? Does it feel? It'll get looser, right? Because it's new, so yeah, it's gonna yeah, be hard. Yeah. yeah, I love them. I wanted them. You know what I wanted, Ryan? Your Crocs. Oh. The platform Crocs. Can you send me the link? Because uh, I was on the website and I don't know which one they are. We, we went to the store and we just looked. Oh, you did? Oh, they look like good. Part of yeah. Look at my shoes. <laughs> they look good. Wait, I sick. love them. Hey, I'm gonna buy myself Thank you, my loves. I, I really appreciate like, it. I like the green. The green stick. Yeah, Ryan has these platform Crocs and he has flowers on them, and I want them so bad. Get them. I know, but I don't know which one he has. We yeah. have like. I like the green. The green stick. Is it the platform? I don't know. Like the yeah, like the high one. Yeah, I want those. They're so cute. Yeah, they have you the like. Do you wanna get these? This is okay. And I don't know what color I should get. Oh. You should get the cream one. Just cream? Yeah. Cream with flowers. Hello, it's been a few hours later. Did it explode? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos went to get me a poppy and the can fell. Is it okay? Ah! Thanks, baby. We got Chipotle for dinner because Carlos was like, I want to try the quesarito. If you guys haven't tried the quesarito. Like on a scale of one to ten, how good is it? Oh, it's good. But also, I might be a little biased. I think I make my burritos at Chipotle and my bowl's really freaking good. Ooh, which one do I want? One of them has more cheese. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, Carlos is trying the quesarito. If you guys don't know what a quesarito is from Chipotle, they basically take a tortilla and they put cheese all over it. I don't know if they use my Ma What's that? Mon Mon Monterey Jack, Jack cheese? Monterey Jack? Yeah, I don't know if they use that or mozzarella. Please let me know if you know anything about Chipotle. I like their queso. But yeah, so mm. they take a tortilla and then they put cheese on it. They fold it up. They put it in the little tortilla thingy the, the to heat it up. And then they open it up. All the cheese is melted. Then they start stuffing it with everything you guys want. And then they roll it up. So every single bite, you're going to get strings of cheese. And it's so good. It's my favorite thing that I get at Chipotle. Other than a bowl and then in my chipotle i get white rice or brown depending on my mood i don't get any beans i do half steak half chicken i do mild hot sauce corn and lettuce oh you should have put beans in mine oh why didn't you tell me because i thought you would know no baby you said whatever you get i'll get mm -hmm. so then i just went with it bubs i don't get beans in mine no. baby don't talk shit about my burrito until you've tried it. Ooh, look how big it is. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Pretty good. Watch me turn off the camera and then you're like, oh my god, it's so good. No, it's, it's not bad. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next time I'll order, I'll ask you to get some of this and pour it in. I'm gonna put it inside the burrito. Bomb. It's pretty good. They packed it today. Wow, they put my meat like all the way in the middle. I haven't gone to it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kim got a new table. Nice. But tell our friends what's so special about our new table. It has wheels at the bottom. <laughs> it has wheels so you can move it around the house. And it also lifts. 
Yes, look, there's a thing right here. Pretty tall, you can actually use it as a you, standing desk. That's yeah. pretty cool. You can also get a little treadmill and walk. Cause like, I'm pretty tall and this is like, I mean, I would need something taller, but this is actually kind of cool for you at least. Yeah, and then when you're like sitting down, look, when I'm sitting on the couch, I can get work done. Or when I'm in bed, since this is on the right side, oh, I can right. scooch this in. Well, even if you're on the left, you just switch it around. So it works on both sides. I'm obsessed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is like every homebody's dream. Nice. And it was super easy to assemble. You literally just put the bar, the little uh, support bar right here or whatever to the table. And then you just connect the bottom piece with some L screws and with an L key. And that's basically it. I'm going to move this to the bedroom and then I'll show you guys. It also came with a, a cup holder, but Kim's not going to use a cup holder. Hi, Casper. Casper. <laughs> oh my gosh, he just licked the lens. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. No, my ear. Yes! Taking home body to a new level. I'm gonna sit here and get work done. Oh my god, you guys, look. It's perfect. I know, I built it. This is gonna be so good for like like days where we're sick. Message me if you guys want one built. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Babe, someone's gonna message you. Babe, <laughs> you literally attach one leg. I think they can do it. <laughs> They're gonna... No, I, I built the whole thing. No, you did not. Yes. No, you did so not. So that little lever, I had to go to Home Depot to buy it because Home Depot sells these levers where... It's Anyways, my <laughs> husband lies, so I'm going to link this table down below. I got it on Amazon. Thank you. Bye. Good morning. We woke up to more delicious food. This is IHOP. We got IHOP. We ordered it home today. We didn't feel like leaving the house. So we got French toast. Carlos and I got the same thing. We both got French toast, scrambled eggs, turkey bacon, and hash browns. So delicious. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys, my night is made. I went to Target to look at the Christmas stuff to see if they like came out with any new Christmas stuff. Mm. And when I walked out of Target, I saw a vendor and he was selling elotes and raspatos. You guys, I love, nothing beats warm elotes in a cup. He also does it corn on the cob, like corn on the stick. I wanted it in a cup today. Mmm. Oh my god. I also got rough bottles. I got the tamarind drink. It's basically a whole cup of ice and tamarind. I guess you could say like tamarind water, tamarind juice. Oh my god. So good. Now I gotta figure out how to drive home with all of this. I love seeing vendors, especially during the holidays. I feel like I see more vendors out and I love supporting vendors. They're such amazing people. Okay, let's go home. I'm home. I wanted to show you guys. I only bought two things at Target. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> Whatever. It's like three bags. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I bought two things from Target. I bought these velvet Christmas trees for decorations. They were ten dollars each. Good enough. I spent twenty bucks. The lotes is good. Well, this is fire. Yay. Yeah. Oh, man's jumping. I don't think I'm going to decorate until December, but we will put the tree up. But I want to save all the decoration and all the festive stuff for December when everyone's in the holiday spirit. But I thought this one was just so beautiful. I'm making a salad. I realized I didn't eat dinner today. I had the IHOP this morning, but that was it. So I'm just going to make a salad. I have romaine lettuce chopped up. This is the Kardashian salad, but way cheaper. I just buy the salad dressing from the actual 
local restaurant. It's called Health Nut. I don't have one near me. I think the closest one, oh, my fridge. I think the closest one is in Manhattan Beach, which is like an hour from my mom. So probably like an, an hour and a half, two hours from me. But the salad there is like $17. It's really expensive and it's really good, but very expensive. So what you can do is you can just buy the sesame salad dressing from their website. I'll link it down below for you guys. We buy a bunch all the time and we always have it stocked up in our fridge and we just make the actual salad at home because it is so easy. These are the exact ingredients that they use at the restaurant. So you have romaine lettuce and then they have shredded up carrots and then they have these like chow mein noodles. I get this at Target. This is the bag here. They put this in the salad. I believe it's called their Chinese sesame salad, but I don't remember the name, but it looks like this. It adds a nice crunch. These are so good. It's so much cheaper when you make it at home and it tastes the exact same because you have the salad dressing. I don't know how they make the salad dressing, but once I find out the recipe for this, then I can just make the whole thing at home. I don't have to buy the salad dressing anymore. We put that in. Oh, I feel like I'm just gonna put the rest. <laughs> you know that awkward stage when like there's a little left over? These are so good. It adds a really nice crunch. And then they have ginger. This is the ginger I use. You can also get it at Target. It is sushi pickle ginger. It's so good. Even if you don't like ginger, tr bless you baby, trust and believe. This really adds to the salad. I'm going to add a little bit of that to our salad. It's so good, you guys. It's pickled, so it's got a nice sweetness to it and it just makes the salad so much better. So, so, so much better. Voila. And then your protein is gonna be Boiled chicken. I bring water up to a boil, I add salt, and then I put just plain chicken in. And then you get this, and you just start shredding up the chicken into your salad. It tastes so good, oh my god. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. I just made these. So I always make chicken and put them in the fridge, and I have it ready to go, and it's so easy to whip together. I love boiled chicken. There's nothing that beats boiled chicken, okay? It's so good. It's so easy to make at home. Every time I go to Help Nut, which is like once a year, because I don't live near one, I always save the little plastic shaking container and I bring it home and I make my salad in it for like a month. So you wanna shred up all the chicken. I think I'll do one more. An easy way to shred chicken, you guys, is put it in a bowl like this. And if you, oh, excuse me. And if you have like a mixer, put your mixer in and it'll shred up all your chicken. But you gotta do it when the chicken's warm so it like breaks easily apart. It breaks apart easily. My goodness, my English. But I'm so hungry right now, so I'm doing it this way. And then sometimes I'll even add like cucumbers into my salad. Mmm, bomb. So good. I love boiled chicken. And then this is the salad. Salad dressing. And then I love putting it in a bowl like this with a lid, because then I can shake it up. Yeah, baby. The salad dressing, and then this is what it looks like. It is bomb. Let's get a bite of everything. We have the romaine, we have the chicken, you gotta have the ginger, and then you have the wonton chips. I've had the real salad before, and I'm telling you, it's exactly how they make it at the restaurant. Just buy the dressing, honestly. So bomb. Mmm. Hello friends. Oh, the house is a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It looks bad. That's my goal today. My goal today is to clean the house. I did a little bit of cleaning before Halloween and then I pushed it off a little bit. Been just taking things slow. I just feel like I haven't gone a moment this week to really just sit there and breathe and schedule out my month. And when my house is a mess and I haven't scheduled anything out on my calendar, I feel like my mind cannot think and I cannot sleep. So I think that's what we're gonna do today because I need to get it together. Today is already like November 3rd. We're three days into the month and I feel like I'm just living it day by day. I don't know what's happening tomorrow and I'm just not that type of person. I cannot be the only one that feels this way. Raise your hand if you're an anal type A person because that's me. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. As you can see, we have this beautiful mess in our room. These are all clean clothes. Carlos did the laundry and it was on our dining room table and then for my birthday, which was almost a month ago, that's how bad cleaning has been. We ended up putting it on this dresser. So I need to put all 
the clean clothes away. We have some boxes we need to open. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think the only thing I really need to do is the primary bedroom. Other than that, I don't think it's like horrible. I miss the holidays when we were kids, you know, because our parents took care of everything. And I feel like as we get older, we have to take care of everything. I can't imagine those of you who are parents, like you're probably more stressed than I am because the holidays are expensive. I can't, yeah, I can't imagine. I hope everyone it has a great holiday season. I will say my, both of our families, like Carlos's family and my family, over the last few years, we have changed the way we do gifting. So we don't really get like, back in the day, I used to get everyone in my family a present. But nowadays, like we try to save money by doing like secret Santa. So like one person doesn't have to get like 12 people gifts, you know? That's what Carlos's family does. Last year, we didn't even do secret Santa. Last year, we didn't do presents at all. We all decided that we wanted to save money last year. But recently in my family, we don't do individual gifts. Like we just do the kids gifts or we do like my, my brother and his wife will get a gift, like a family gift. So it saved a little bit of money. But I'm really excited for the day when Carlos and I have kids because you guys know I love gifting. So I can't wait to see their faces when they open up their gifts and stuff. That won't be for a while. I'm really excited to start traditions. Carlos and I were just talking about this last night, how we're really excited to start traditions of our own with our kids. Like I want to teach our kids the value of, you know, hard work and also just because they get really cool presents doesn't mean that every single family is in the same situation. Also, I think it's really important that it's not about the gifts. It's about giving back and being thankful for what you have because as much as you have it now, it could be snatched away from you in a heartbeat. Life works that way. Things can change very easily. And so I just want to make sure that like our future kids grow up being very grateful for what they have. First and foremost, learning kindness and learning compassion and learning to understand not just their situation, but like other people's situation and having that sympathy in their hearts to, you know, lend a hand or reach out or, you know, come to us if they were, were to see anything or their friends need help, whatever it may be. So I think that's really important to implement into their lives growing up. I'm just really excited. I'm really excited to raise some really good, kind, giving kids. <laughs> So I think when we have kids, we'll create traditions of our own. But as of right now, we just kind of go with the flow and hang out with our fam. If you guys have been wanting to clean your house, this is your sign to clean your house either today as you're watching this video or sometime this coming week before you bring all the holiday decor out. Because trust me, you do not want to bring more things into your house when your home is messy. We're going to start in the laundry room. I don't think the laundry room is that bad, actually. This is what we are dealing with in the laundry room. I don't think it's that bad because... Last week, I went through and organized all of these drawers. Like, we have all of our batteries organized in here. I love these, by the way. These drawers are amazing. They're from Home Depot. And then I have, like, all the vacuum stuff, all of our tape and extra stuff. And then we have, like, all of our paper towels and toilet paper organized down there. Everything is boxed nicely. So, I kind of did a little bit of this. Carlos did a lot of the laundry. He, oh, wow, he went through a lot. Wait, I didn't even realize. He did laundry probably a few days ago, and I didn't even realize. Okay, so... He's got towels that he needs to do and then he says he wants to finish this and then these are clean so I can take those once the room is done and then he's got this and then he's got our dirty laundry in our bedroom in our little basket that he'll get to but eventually I want all of this cleared and then I want to clean out the ice machine that Remy got us because I want this running so we can have really fun ice whenever we want it until this room is clean we'll get to that and then this section is fairly clean too I think if anything I'll just like vacuum like we just kind of have a little bit of this going on I can pick that up but yeah this room isn't bad okay moving on to the studio I don't think the studio is bad at all I did clean the studio over the weekend so I want to get rid of the Christmas stuff we'll store those away and honestly you guys this room is pretty good maybe a little vacuum and we're kind of good to go what is he doing Riley Riley what do you have in your oh a toy okay oh my god I thought he like ate something moving on to we can empty the dining table and then we got the dishes to load. So let's do that. My mom always taught me this thing growing up. 
because I was so bad at cleaning my bedroom. Let me know if you guys were the same. I cannot be the only one where my bedroom was just a mess. I was really bad at cleaning. I hated cleaning. And then as I grew up and got older, I realized that cleaning actually really helps me. It's become like therapy to me. I usually don't clean on camera because when I clean, I like to turn on the TV. I like to be in my own world. I don't like any distractions. And it's kind of hard to clean when you're vlogging because I want to make sure that you guys are cleaning with me. So I'm constantly like moving the camera and stuff. So I usually never do cleaning vlogs just because cleaning is kind of like my moment to be in my own world and be with myself. But today I figure, you know, since we have like not crazy cleaning, I can clean with you guys today. But growing up, my mom taught me this trick where I'm sure you guys use it too, where you just set an hour on your phone, on a timer, on a clock, whatever it may be. Just set an at one hour timer and do the best that you can in that one hour and you'll realize in one hour you can get so much done. So we're gonna set one hour on our timer and once this goes off, then cleaning is done, but probably not today. I'll probably like do two hours of cleaning, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because growing up, this really did help me. Whenever I thought I didn't have time for something, I realized that even like 15 minutes on a timer just to clean is enough or like 30, you don't have to do an hour, but I don't know, there's something like about turning a timer on that really helps because you feel like you're racing against the clock, but I'm gonna start this now and then we can start cleaning. Goodbye, pumpkins. These stayed out for like two minutes. <laughs> I love these. I know some people don't, but I freaking love these. These are the, I think it's called Swiffer. Swiffer, yeah, these are the Swiffer little dusters. So you buy these attachments in like boxes. They're cheaper at Costco, but you buy these fluffy attachments and use them to dust. This is like the short one. They also have a handle that's like six feet if you wanna get like lamps and stuff on your ceiling. But you put them on and the key is you're supposed to do this to fluff them up. I learned this from a cleaning lady on TikTok. You're not supposed to put them, put them on and then like start dusting. You have to shake it a little bit to fluff it up and then you can just start dusting away, you guys, but it's amazing. You know what I really wanna buy next time I'm at the, I'm at the store? The, what is it called? <sighs> What's that sponge that's really popular? Oh my God, I can't think of it. It's called damp something. Mr. No, Mr. Squeaky? No, Mr. Smiley. What is it called? It's the Smiley sponge. It's a sponge and it has a smiley face. He was on Shark Tank and now he's like a multi-million dollar company. What is it called? I mm, can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'll show you guys once I think of it. We finish the dining area. I keep my bag there just so I can grab it to go. Since it's the holiday season, we whipped out the bowl with the pine cones again. I love these pine cones. I get them at any store like Home Depot, Lowe's, Stater Brothers, Sprouts. I think sometimes Target has them too. They're pine cones and they smell really good and I keep them here on the table, make sure they don't fall and the dogs don't get to them. Although the dogs are pretty good, they don't like sniff or eat anything that they shouldn't be. So I keep them here. They smell up the room really nice just for the holiday season. The rest of the year we have that big pot that I moved to the laundry room. Okay, so the dining area is done. I wipe down all the chairs, I vacuum the floors. Now we're we're gonna move on to the kitchen area here. I'm gonna make something to eat because I'm hungry. I have these, so I'm gonna make a wrap. These are the Mission Garden Spinach Herb Wraps. They're so good. And I have some eggs and some sausage that I need to finish and mozzarella cheese. So I think it's gonna be a good meal. So let me just cut into this. This is the Italian Adele sausage. They're my favorite. I use them in pasta. I eat them with rice. I eat them alone. They're so good and they're so good in the air fryer too. So I'm gonna cut into small pieces so I can put it in my wrap. 
And I'm gonna cook this real quick with the eggs and then we'll spread it all over the spinach or the, yeah, the spinach tortilla. I have one more left, I can eat that later. A little bit of oil. You guys, I just got this pan from Target and I freaking love it. It's this one with the tea in the middle. I'll try to find it in my order history and link it for you guys because I really want you to buy this pan. First of all, it's so big and spacious. You can make so many things. You can do like two pieces of steak, two pieces of chicken, probably could fit like three pieces of chicken. That's how big it is. You can fit a whole entire tortilla, like the big ones will fit perfectly in here. You can make eggs, you can saute stuff. And you know what my favorite part is? Not only is it really big, it's super light. Like this is my left hand. I don't do shit with my left hand, you guys. I'm a right handy. But this is my left hand. It is just so lightweight. The older that I get, the more I realize I don't wanna be buying really heavy pots and pans. They're just too heavy for me. And I love really light ones. And I have another one of these and they're really good quality. They last a really long time. And it's also non-stick. Everything that hits it will fall completely, like completely fall off because it's so easy to work with. I highly recommend this. I think you guys should really get this pan. It's so worth the money. I'm gonna go in with my sausage. And it heats up so fast. You guys hear that? Wow, I really need to do the dishes because all of my chopsticks that I cook with are dirty already. I have the smaller version of this pan and this is the bigger one and it's so good. I'm gonna do the eggs on the other side. December, we're good. Guess we're doing a little quesadilla now. At first I thought I wanted to roll it, but now I see the cheese melting and I'm like, never mind. Ooh, little, little egg sausage wrap. This looks yummy. Yeah. Glides right off. Oh my God, it's so crispy. So crispy. Mm. I'm gonna take a bite. The sausage is so good. Bomb. The spinach tortilla is really good, you guys. I actually think I like it more than the, the regular mission tortillas. I mean, nothing beats homemade tortillas. This green spinach one is good. I really like it. And I don't know if it's just me, but it tastes better because it's green, okay? That's just how my mind works. No, that's really good. I'm gonna buy more. So simple, so easy. The kitchen is clean. I'm so happy. It took a few hours because Michelle and I ended up on FaceTime for a whole hour and then I had to get back to cleaning. But the kitchen is clean. I have the dishwasher running right now. We cleaned the counters. Carlos did a bunch of recycling at the front because I had a bunch of like packages that I ordered and PR packages. So he took a few of those down. I still have a few at the front because those are like the bigger boxes I want to go through. Carlos also cleaned the trash cans. I don't know if you guys do that, but you definitely should do it once a week, we just got a pressure washer. We just got a pressure washer and Carlos cleans the trash can every weekend whenever they pick up the trash on Fridays. He does it mostly every weekend because trash cans get really dirty and our last pressure washer broke. So he did that and then he cleaned the yard and did all the outside stuff and then I cleaned the dining room. Our dining room looks so cute. I love it. It looks so clean and sleek. This is the kitchen. Ended up doing all the dishes, wipe all the counters down, dust everything. Something that a lot of people forget to do, even I forget to do, is I love sitting on the floor and wiping down the cabinets because from afar, cabinets look good, but then when you get close up, you can see like little dirt marks on them because over time, they're obviously going to catch stuff, you know? So I ended up cleaning all of the dog's eating sections and then I wiped down all the cabinets. I even wiped down the stove and the dishwasher just to make sure it's shiny and then I vacuumed everything. I left the couch as is because the boys are hanging out on it and and then 
I'm gonna move forward with that section over there. You guys see we have some stuff over there we need to organize. This is a preview of our kitchen. Oh, you guys, my favorite place in our home. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna light a candle. I'll be right back. I am so excited for this. This is my first order from Forever Mood Candles, which if you guys don't know about this brand, it's actually owned by Jackie Ina and her husband, which you guys are the sweetest people in the entire world. I actually have met them in person a few times and they are just so sweet. Jackie is extremely, extremely kind. She's also very, very smart. Like I would love to sit with her in a, at a dinner or something and just listen to everything she has to say because she's just so smart. Very, very wise, very sweet, super kind. I just love her overall. If you guys don't follow her on TikTok and Instagram, you're missing out. And her husband, the sweetest guy in the world. But anyways, they have a candle company. It's a small business called Forever Mood and you can find it at Sephora or you can go on their website. I actually bought this directly from the website. I have been holding off on this because I wanted the house to be like perfect before I light that candle. So I actually got this candle right here, which I think is one of their most popular candles. It's called We Not Lincoln. <laughs> and I love this one. It smells, oh, it smells like fall. I love it. It's got this kind of like cinnamon. It smells kind of spicy too. I'm not really good at explaining scents. I will let you know that, but this is actually perfect for fall. And also their candles are coconut soy, so they are safe for pets. You do have pets in the house. I also got this, forget me not. This was a pack of four. I thought this was a good deal on the website as well. This is to live and pine. You guys know I love anything like pine scents. And the packaging is beautiful. Oh my God, it's kind of hard to get out. Oh no. Let's smell the first one. This first one is called Cabin Fever. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. I've never smelled anything like that before. I wonder, let's see. It just smells really expensive. <laughs> I want to smell to live in pine. Oh, to live in pine smells good. If I, It smells like pine cones, but it's just very expensive pine cones. I feel like if Chanel made pine cones, I feel like this line is very luxurious, which is very Jackie Ida. She is so luxurious, so beautiful. Mm. They're so hard to get out. They're so well packaged. Sneaky Link, the names are so cute. Ooh, Sneaky Link sounds like, or smells like a perfume. Very flowery, very rosy. Almost reminds me of like Chanel. And then Cookie Coma. Wow, all of the scents are very luxurious. In my opinion, they kind of give off Bath and Body Works, but very high-end Bath and Body Works. Like for example, they'll take like Cookie Coma, which you think will smell like vanilla cookies, but then they'll kind of make it into this like perfume twist. Like it smells very luxurious. That's the best way I can smell it. So they're taking like everyday scents that you would buy like pine cone and like maybe like cookies or a fresh scent and they'll kind of amp it up a little bit and make it very luxurious. That's what I'm I'm realizing with all of the scents. I don't know which one, wow. Which actually makes sense because Jackie, one of the things she's known for on her TikTok is her love for perfumes. She's very good at knowing which one is good and like describing the scents. Like she's very well well educated when it comes to the perfume section, not so much me. I don't know which one I wanna light. Maybe this one? I kinda wanna do this. Let's do this. I wanna save these four for the holidays. This is We Not Lincoln. Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln. Okay, I'm going to light this one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put these back in the box. I'm going to save these four when Christmas comes. I feel like all of December I'm gonna be lighting these candles. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I finally got my hands on them. I'm so excited about this, y'all. Oh my goodness. So in January, Rocky is going camping with us. We always go every year with Michelle and her family. We love camping with them. They're so much fun. And we like taking Rocky because it's like his weekend. You know, he's a senior dog, so he has like his weekend to himself. All the dogs do. Camping is kind of Rocky's thing just because he's really calm. These these three will absolutely run away into the woods and we will never find them. So Rocky's our best contender. Well, this year for January, actually technically next year, we found this backpack on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. And you can put your dog on your back in a very comfortable way. I don't recommend putting your dogs in certain bags because it's bad for their posture and it's bad for them in general. But this backpack is good for them and it's very comfortable because your dogs are just sitting on your back. So I'll actually link this for you. We just put Rocky in the backpack and now he's taking a break. He fits perfectly and it's so, so cute. I'll insert a photo, but now we're gonna try Casper in this backpack and we wanted to show you guys. He's drinking water right now. Casper, you ready? You ready, pumpkin? 
It's really easy to put your dogs in. You put both of their legs through the hole and then the bottom, it's actually flat so they can just sit. So they're kind of just sitting on, on your back comfortably with their arms up on your shoulders. I'll link it, I really, really like it. Hi, Papa. Do you love it? Do you love it? They're all buckled in. <laughs> Zipper, buckle, everything. <laughs> he's chilling. He's literally so stiff. You guys, he's stiff with everything. Even when you hold him, he's stiff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at him. Casper. Aww. Hi, baby. Aww, do you love it? Were you kissing daddy? Were you kissing daddy? Unfazed, always. Okay, we got Cooper in. Hi, Coopy. They're technically just sitting on your back. Man, <laughs> you look so sad. You don't like it? Kissy? Okay, he's okay. He kissy. We would try Riley, but obviously he's huge. <laughs> Can you imagine Riley on your back? Oh my gosh, that's a hundred pounds. That's a hundred pounds. You guys, we're the same size. Literally, when you guys, when she's laying down and Riley's laying down extended, they're literally the same size. <laughs> Riley. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, hi. Yay. Hey, Riley. Hey, Riley. Look how big he is, you guys. You guys remember how skinny he was when we first got him? And now he's a little chunky. Now he's got a little fat booty. Where's your booty? Show mama your booty. You okay? Show mama your booty. <laughs> We're the same size. <laughs> Do you remember when he tackled Brooke? Oh my god, it was like, it was full on football tackle, but it looked like a bowling ball hit pins. Brooke he was, was like, done. Brooke, Brooke had no idea. Highly recommend an old English sheepdog. Yeah. It is that time of the year where we turn on our fireplace because we want all the vibes. Nice. Let's see what color we want today. It's been so long, I don't remember how to use this. <gasps> I like that orange one. This one? Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, you can change the bottom. I want this to be. I like the yellow, the yellow bottom, baby. Mm -hmm. That's sexy. We have this in our bedroom too, you guys. I like this. this looks like. There's an orange one. Ooh. Oh. Nice. We have the same fireplace in our bedroom and it's such a bad. Whoa, on camera it looks sick. Oh, also, you don't have to turn on the heat. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you can leave it without the heat. If you want the heat, you can turn it on. But it definitely works. It has, you see these little, this little thing right here? You can definitely turn on the heat. Oh, the little, all three has one here, one here, and then like another side here. And it actually really works. We tried the heater one time and it did warm up pretty good. But Riley, <laughs> Riley accidentally turns the one in our room on and the first time he did it, I woke up and the, it was on and I was freaking out. We thought there was a ghost <laughs> in the house. We were just like, holy crap, who turned it on? He loves cuddles. Hey, I want to be Big Spoon. He loves cuddles. Can I, excuse me? He said, man. Excuse me. He said, man, you asked for too much. Should we watch boys? Boys. Why does he have his paw on his bowl like that? Because <laughs> he, he means business. 